So just another plug for Qualcomm. Again, it, it's very highly likely if you have a smartphone or chips in it. And please keep it that way. <laughs> okay. So the things I'm going to talk about today, just briefly, I'll tell you why I just love Mars. It's like almost like it's my hammer that I hit everything with. I have to watch it that I don't overdo it. That's how much I like this product and how useful it is. Um, and I'm going to show you how we predict. You can use it to predict an asset or sales, or you know, or finding patterns. It's just a very flexible product. Uh, in my example, I'm going to talk about how you can, how I have been able to identify trends and effects. You know, and the ones that I do show are like days, weeks, but you can substitute any kind of effect that you might be looking in there. Um, and how helpful Mars is to identify and to capture interactive trends. So you have to give it a whole lot of thought. You can just say, go do it. And it'll help guide you uh, on the way. The um, thing I started using recently is also the ability to weight which observations are more important to you. And we all know in some cases we may have too few observations in a case. We want to give them more weight or perhaps more current data and give that more weight. So it's a nice uh, um, capability in Mars to, to do that. And then I'm going to show you how I did actually model this prediction method in a couple of ways. I did one just to capture trends, and then I flipped over, since I hit training in um, time series in my MBA program in ARIMA, I show you how you, maybe you can even tackle an autoregressive model the same way and compare the two results. So that's how shows off the more capabilities of Mars and the capacity, like by using lag variables and how easy it is to set up. Um, and then a really good point about missing values, I'll get to that later in the talk. And then finally, I'll wrap the whole thing up. So let's start out. Um, in a lot of these slides I borrowed, I've been really evangelizing Mars at, at uh, Qualcomm because I think it's such a good solution and easy to use. So you'll see some of this. You probably know some of this material just because you're here, but uh, bear with me. You know, so as I was sharing with the engineers at Qualcomm and the business people there, you know, I'm telling them there's so many ways to predict. You know, you can, and so many of them just jump to Excel and do linear regression, which drives me nuts because you have, it doesn't always work for them, work out, as you all know. Uh, you know, logistic regression and Mars, like I mentioned the REMA, people here know about decision trees and TreeNet. Uh, I should have put TreeNet, nice presentation at Qualcomm TreeNet goes in here, as I mentioned. Neural nets support vector machines, you know, many, many, many ways. Um, you know, again, I'm going to focus on typical examples that I see in my work, but they're really broad-based concepts. You know, uh, I'm frequently challenged with doing predictions of things that are typically real numbers or, or integers because we're looking at uh, chip characteristics or, or resources or assets. Uh, rather than, let's say, probabilities or ones, you know, is, are they going to buy the product or not buy the product? So I, that's why I use Mars a great deal. So you're looking at, you know, forecasting dollar sales, number of chips that you're going to sell, um, you know, headcount planning, you know, is a big topic in Qualcomm since we're going like crazy. Um, I'm in the software asset side uh, using things there. I've worked with the engineers again with characteristics, so we might want to look at how fast does a web page load and figuring out what, what are the characteristics that have the web page load on your smartphone quickly, and then anything, really. Um, and again, just to continue the same concept, just examples again, numbers, employees. You know, in our case, again, cat we look at categorical variables. I've got to handle those. You know, what operating system is it? Is it Android or is it Windows or, God forbid, Apple's uh, operating system? Uh, <laughs> or looking at trends, you know. Uh, and, and, you know, what a common example might be months of the year or the Christmas season. You know, that's a big deal for us. Get that chip designed and out the door to the foundry so it can be in the phone for Christmas. Uh, so you will buy it. And then uh, special effects, you know, like we heard a nice talk yesterday about capturing promotion effects, same concept here. Or in our case, it might be the switch was turned on or turned off. It might be a very binary type of thing in engineering. You know, and one of the things that really got deeply into Mars was I was posed with an engineering problem. The engineers came to me with some data and they say, we don't know what to do with this. And it was hundreds of variables and they were trying to predict something. And I know they're like, how do we even figure out what it can do? And this is where Mars came in handy. The algorithm will actually do help you figure out, you know, which variables are the, the major, you know, which which variables are the influencers. Um, and then also again, there's so there's so always, a lot of them will just think, you know, simple uh, uh, regression. I'm like, guys, you may have interactions here. We need to capture them. We need to look for them. It only makes sense. And Mars lends itself well to that. 
And again, they always want these linear things. I'm like, no, we may have nonlinear relationships. I'm not going to go and tackle this problem with all these preconceptions. I'm going to also assume that nothing is linearly related and see what Mars will find for us. Um, and, and I've seen cases in the, with, the, with the characteristics of the chips. For example, you'll have a threshold until, you know, where things start or some activity happens or some, something important happens, or you may have a plateau effect, and Mars handles this great. It can find those types of things. And then again, I can throw any kind of data at it, including you know, categorical data. I can just throw it all in the soup, and it works. Uh, and then finally, too, when I chose Mars years back uh, for these problems at, at Qualcomm, I didn't want, I actually did a paper that compared like neural nets to Mars to, to principal components analysis for a certain project, and Mars came out better. 